These two courageous police officers responded to sounds of children's voices coming from a vacant daycare center. What they discovered inside the building left parents in shock. Detective Brooklyn and Officer Charles stood in front of an unusual-looking daycare on that sunny morning. They got no response as they approached the entrance and knocked on the door. The officers were confused because this daycare was empty. Care wasn't meant to be closed. Detective Brooklyn, an experienced investigator with a compassionate heart, took a deep breath and knocked harder. Still, no one answered. That was when Officer Charles, who cared deeply about children's safety, heard something strange. It was a faint sound coming from inside, almost too soft to hear, like muffled children's voices. Charles turned to Detective Brooklyn and asked if she heard it too. She nodded in agreement. How could they be hearing sounds from inside when no one was answering the door? The officers' hearts raced as they realized something was wrong. They needed to get inside to find out what was happening. The daycare center, known as Play Mountain Place, was located in a quiet corner of Colorado Springs. To the neighbors, it seemed like any other daycare, a place where parents dropped off their little ones and went about their day. But behind the colorful walls and cheerful paintings hung a secret that would soon send shockwaves through the community. That fateful morning, the two dedicated police officers had been patrolling the neighborhood when they received a call to check on the daycare. A concerned parent had made a complaint about the facility. As the officers drove towards the daycare, they expected a routine inspection, Little did they know that what they were doing what they discovered there would change their lives forever. As the cops arrived at the daycare, they immediately knew that something was off. It was strangely quiet, with no children playing in the front yard. The windows also showed no signs of activity. After knocking without getting a response, Detective Brooklyn reached for the doorknob with determination. The door opened slowly, revealing an empty room. Rows of small chairs and tables stood quietly. It seemed as if the daycare had been abandoned. Officer Charles cautiously moved forward, scanning the room for signs of life, while Detective Brooklyn followed closely. They entered a playroom that should have been filled with children's laughter, but it too was deserted. There were even toys lying on the floor untouched. The determined cops knew they couldn't leave without uncovering the source of the sound they had heard from outside. As they ventured further into the house, Detective Brooklyn talked about the complaint call that had brought them to the daycare in the first place. The call came from the Brooks family. Hannah and Austin Brooks were loving parents to a sweet toddler named Audrey. Their beloved child had been attending Play Mountain Place, but troubling changes in her behavior had raised serious concerns. Audrey, who used to be a joyful and carefree child, had started to look messy and untidy after her daycare visits. She seemed very hungry, as if she hadn't been given enough food, but what truly frightened her parents was her unusual warmth. When they picked her up, she'd be burning up as if she'd been crying intensely for hours. The Brooks had initially tried to downplay their worries, thinking that perhaps Audrey was going through a tough phase. However, as her physical and emotional state continued to worsen, they realized something was seriously wrong. The mother had reached a breaking point, she couldn't bear to witness her daughter's suffering any longer. One evening, as she held Audrey close with tears in her eyes, Hannah made a life-changing decision. She reached out to the local authorities to make a complaint against Play Mountain Place. Hannah's call was taken seriously by the authorities because it wasn't the first time that the daycare was being reported. Concerned neighbors had called to report that the daycare was overcrowded before. Child services were contacted, and the local police were sent to inspect the daycare. This is what led Detective Brooklyn and Officer Charles to that very doorstep. The officer's exploration of the daycare continued, and their anxiety intensified with each passing moment. That was when they heard a faint noise coming from somewhere in the building. The sound that they had heard was now clearer. An unmistakable murmur of children's voices. It seemed to be coming from below, but how? There was no basement in sight. The cops followed the sounds, which led them to a seemingly ordinary wall. Detective Brooklyn felt along the wall and knocked gently. To his surprise, it sounded hollow. It's a fake wall, Detective Brooklyn whispered to Officer Charles. Something was not right here. The determined officers kept checking the wall until they got to a large bookshelf. Officer Charles pushed the shelf aside and saw a startling sight. Behind the big shelf was a secret door. 
The officers opened the door and discovered a dark staircase leading down to the basement. It was as if they had stumbled into another world, one filled with uncertainty and fear. The faint cries of children grew louder as they descended the stairs. Their hearts raced for they knew they were on the verge of uncovering something deeply unsettling. In the dimly lit basement, the officers discovered a sight that would haunt them forever. There was a secret chamber filled with 26 children, all under the tender age of three. The children, some barely more than infants, appeared sweaty, visibly dehydrated, and trapped in soiled diapers. Their eyes were filled with curiosity and innocence, but their faces were streaked with tears. They huddled together in the Snelly room. Their clothes soiled and their tiny hands reached out as if searching for comfort. Detective Brooklyn and Officer Charles rushed to assess the situation. Many of the children were visibly dehydrated, their lips cracked from thirst. The room had an oppressive atmosphere, and the officers could feel the tension in the air. Some children were crying softly, while others stared too exhausted to muster tears. Amid this heartbreaking scene, one child stood out, a baby girl of barely 10 months. She looked even smaller and more fragile than the others. Her face was pale, and she seemed to be running a fever. Detective Brooklyn knelt beside the baby and offered her a bottle of water. Her tiny hand trembled as she reached for it. Her eyes filled with a mixture of fear and gratitude. This sight brought tears to Detective Brooklyn's eyes. She couldn't imagine how long these children had been hidden away in this basement, their cries unheard by the outside world. Officer Charles tried comforting the other children, reassuring them they were safe now. The officers couldn't comprehend the shocking scene before them. They radioed for immediate assistance, and medical personnel rushed to the scene. As they tended to the children, providing them with the care they desperately needed, the daycare's true nature began to unravel. Word quickly spread about the shocking discovery at Play Mountain Place. Parents who had entrusted their children to this daycare arrived in a state of panic and disbelief. Among them were Stella Ellis, the parents of the baby the cops found at the scene. Like Audrey's mom at the beginning, Stella had noticed strange changes in her daughter's behavior, but she never suspected anything as shocking as this. Detective Brooklyn met the other parents who had entrusted their little ones to play Mountain Place. She saw the anguish in their eyes, the betrayal they felt, and the fear that their children had endured. What the cops had found going on left the parents terrified. Stella Ellis felt what many parents were feeling. It was so hard for her to trust her children with other people, and she had felt like she could really trust the daycare with her baby. She felt so completely betrayed with what had been happening to her daughter behind her back. Hannah couldn't find the words to even describe how she felt. It was a mix of anger, guilt, and relief. She was grateful that she had acted on their instincts and reported the daycare. Still, the horror of what had been happening to her baby, Audrey, and other babies was too much for her to imagine. The daycare's owner, Zoe Gray, and three employees, Maya Rivera, Gabriella Kelly, were swiftly taken into custody. Charges were filed against them, and the full extent of their actions began to be revealed. It wasn't just the overcrowding. The conditions in the daycare were appalling. The children had been neglected with soiled diapers and inadequate nourishment. The place had been a dark prison for these innocent souls, deprived of the love and care they deserved. News of the case shocked the community and left parents grappling with a mix of emotions, fury, disbelief, and deep gratitude that their children were now safe. As days turned into weeks, the children who had endured such hardship began to heal. They received medical care, nutritious meals, and most importantly, the love and attention they had been denied for so long. Audrey Brooks, the toddler whose mother had reported, and Lucy Ellis, who had captured Detective Brooklyn's heart, made a remarkable recovery. Lucy's parents, Stella and Lucy Ellis, watched happily as their daughter slowly but surely returned to her joyful self. The police officers, Detective Brooklyn and Officer Charles, received heartfelt thanks from parents who were grateful for their swift actions. As for Zoe Gray and her accomplices, the long arm of justice ensured that they wouldn't hurt any kids ever again. What are your thoughts on this story? I'd love to hear your opinions, so please share them in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories. Stay tuned for our upcoming content. See you in the next video.